Students, this is Lesson 8.1, Part 2. For this one, we need to talk about a new vocabulary called opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Hypo you've been using, but the concept of opposite and adjacent is a new concept. Whenever you have an angle theta, the side that is across from it is considered the opposite. The side next to it that's not the hypo is called the adjacent. And of course, the right angle side across from the right angle is the hypo. What's super important that you understand is that when the theta moves, when the angle moves, the opposite and adjacent can change. So when theta is up here, this is opposite, this is adjacent, and this is hypo. So take a look down here. If this is our angle, x would be our opposite, 15 would be our adjacent, and of course y would be our hypotenuse. We're going to be doing three different ratios. These ratios have specific names. We're going to sweep angle A. And then from angle A, 3 would be considered the opposite, 4 is the adjacent, 5 is the hypo. And if we do opposite over adjacent, in this case our opposite is 3 over our hypo, which is 5 and 3 fifths of a dollar is 60 cents. So that's our opposite over hypo ratio. Whoops, I got my colors backwards. Opposite over hypo ratio. Then there's a second one, which is adjacent over hypo. And in this case, our adjacent is four. Our hypo is five. Four fifths of a dollar is 80 cents. Then we have opposite over adjacent. In this case, our opposite is three. Our adjacent is four. And that's 75 cents. These three ratios, opposite over hypo, adjacent over hypo, opposite over adjacent, they have a name. The names are sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine cosine and tangent. That's where we get the acronym so ka toa. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypo. Cosine of the angle theta equals adjacent over hypo. Tangent of the angle theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now first we're going to apply this to our special right triangles. Here we have one side, 30, 60, 90, short leg, short leg root 3, short leg times 2. Then this is 1 root 3, and this is 2 times 1, of course. So sine of 60, sine is opposite. So from 60, our opposite is root 3 over our hypo, which is 2. You would leave it just like that. Cosine is adjacent over hypo. Our adjacent is 1, and our hypo is 2. Tangent would be opposite, which is root 3 over adjacent, which is 1. So that's the sine of 60, cosine of 60, tangent of 60. The sine of 30, so 30 is over this way, that's going to be opposite, which is 1 over our hypo, which is 2. Cosine is adjacent. In this case, it's root 3 over our hypo, which is 2. Tangent is opposite, which in this case is 1 
over adjacent, which is root 3. We can't leave that there. We multiply top and bottom by root 3. So we end up with root 3 over 3. Sine of 45, it doesn't matter which 45, they're the same. Sine is, that's going to be considered 1. So our sine is 1 over our hypo, which is root 2, but you can't leave root 2 in the denominator, so we multiply top and bottom by root 2, and the final answer of sine 45 is root 2 over, whoops, 2. Same for cosine, because it's the same both ways. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is just a 1. This table you must memorize. But notice, we're just sticking with the angles that are the special right angles. So what if your angle is different than those? And that's where the buttons of Sokotoa on your calculator come into play. Let me show you. We're going to solve for x. So right now, I just like you to trace x. We're going to work with the theta of being 28. Label. This is opposite, adjacent, hypo. Have, need, do. In this case, we have the adjacent. We need the opposite. I have an OA combo, so you look right here. That's a tangent, so you write exactly that equation. Tangent of theta over 1 equals opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta, which is 28, over 1 equals opposite, which is x, over adjacent, which is a. 11. Again, you don't touch a calculator until your variable is by itself. So I have x equals tan 28 times 11. Then you get your calculators out. Let me show you. Your calculator looks like this. You first have to make sure it's on degree mode. So you're going to touch mode and you go down, down, over until the degree is flashing. Hit enter and clear. Okay, so we're going to do tan 28 times 11. And your calculators, you hit tangent. It's going to start a parentheses. You put 28, close the parentheses, hit the times button, then do 11, and enter. And I'll tell you what you should get there. You should be getting 5.85. So x, x is approximately 5.85. Check for units. We don't have units. You just write the word units. Let's do one more. We're going to go for y this time. Let's label our theta, that's 28, our opposite, adjacent, hypo. In this case, we have the adjacent, and we want the hypo this time. So I have an AH combo, that's cosine. So you write cosine theta over 1 equals adjacent, which is 11, over hypo, which is Y. Do not touch a calculator until x is by itself. So it's going to be cosine 28 over 1. Equals 11 over y. Cosine 28 times y equals 11. So we divide by cosine 28. And we get our y equals 11 divided by cosine 28. So in your calculators, you start with 11, and then you divide by the cosine of 28. And you should be getting approximately, second decimal, 12.46.